Hey, my name is Jan Ketel Rönt, and I will in this video demonstrate how you could project a feature class from one map projection to another map projection. I have here uh, my watershed and to investigate what kind of spatial reference this data has, you can right click on it in content and select properties and then and the spatial reference, you will see that this is a layer that is in UTM zone 33. But if we look at the map, it should be in UTM zone 34. Now, then best is to transform the data so it is in UTM 34. This is done using a tool found in the data management toolbox under projection and transformation. I use the tool project to project it from one coordinate system to another. We need here then to enter the input. We enter my watershed and we need to name the new watershed. We could call it then my watershed UTM34 to emphasize that this new data set ends up in with the spatial reference UTM34. We need then to set the spatial reference, the output coordinate system. Let's click on the here. We have to set projected coordinate systems. Go down to UTM Europe and the one often used is the ETRS UTM zone 34. And we pick that one. Clicking run. Now this will end up in whatever is your default database. So in case you have not set the correct database here as the default one, take some care. Now we have two layers here and they are displayed in the same coordinate system because what is as a stored coordinate system may differ from the displayed coordinate system. And the displayed coordinate system, you will see from this entry here, by right-clicking on the map name, clicking on properties, we see that the displayed coordinate system is the ETRS 1989 UTM zone 33. You may also want to change this, but that might be less important. The important is that the stored coordinate system is the same for all layers, which you will do any geoprocessing on like overlay, buffer, etc. When you're combining different data layers, they need to have the same coordinate system. 